What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my Christ subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is the free channel collective reading, have suicide to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only, only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Um, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel, you guys. We're at 12,310 subscribers. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart chakra. I do, I do, I do. Hoo, just saying. Um, if you like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. This is Aries Oracle Card Reading for the Sign of Aries uh, from uh, May of 2022. This could resonate if you have Aries in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Fourth, Node, and Haven, or Jupiter charts. It's a free general collective reading, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Uh, just saying, just saying, saying. Um, love you guys so much. Um, like I said, if you'd like to donate, it's pay, um, PayPal. Um, my link's in the description box below. I do not publicly display um, your name if you choose to donate through my PayPal for privacy and confidentiality purposes. Okay, so um, we're going to do it. I heard Aries, so we're going to do Aries. I hope everybody is doing well. I haven't received any channelings in yet. I just heard Aries, so to me that was confirmation to do it. Man, it was all cute with a little twisty, and it won't, it won't stay. But, oh well. Spirit messages you have for Aries. About to start thinking for yourself. Is what I just heard. Oh, whoa. Heard about to start thinking for yourself. So you plug it in how it resonates, Aries. Um, that's what I just heard. About to start thinking for yourself. So whoever you are and however this applies in one's life, Aries. Um, this can resonate if you have Aries in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, or Jupiter charts. I just heard about to start thinking for yourself. So Maybe one of you guys has been heavily manipulated by someone or some people or a situation or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling at least one of you guys has been heavily manipulated by someone, some people, a group, a situation, something. And you're about to start thinking, about, thinking for yourself. Whoever you are and however that applies in one's life, Aries. Because I heard about start thinking for yourself. So I'm feeling that's you um, if that applies for you. Of course, you know, you only take the messages that resonate. One may resonate. Two plus may resonate. None may resonate. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else. So only take the messages that resonate. Spirit messages you have is Aries. A pregnancy is about to become very, very significant in Aries' life. For some Aries, two plus pregnancies. Drama, drama, drama. Oh my lord, you plug it in, how it resonates, oh my god. I heard, um, whoever that's for, I heard um, a pregnancy, it's about to become very significant in Aries' life soon. Um, for some of you guys, it's one pregnancy, for some it's two plus pregnancies, I heard drama, drama, drama. So dear lord, I don't think this is a happy pregnancy, um, or it, I think it's a surprise pregnancy, um, it may be you pregnant. It may be somebody connected to you pregnant. Somehow, pregnancy is about to become significant in Aries' life. So, whether you impregnated somebody, Aries, or whether, um, or whether you are the pregnant one, impregnated one, or whether you are connected to somebody that is pregnant. Um, however, that resonates. Spirit messages you have sign Aries. But I don't. Well, whoever this message applies for. Whether you are the impregnated one, the one that impregnated someone, or somebody connected to somebody pregnant. Um, I feel it was a surprise pregnancy. Um, yeah, I definitely think it's a surprise pregnancy. Or somebody tried to entrap somebody. Somebody did entrap somebody in a, um, pregnant, with a pregnancy. Um, or, or something like that. However, that resonates. Um, 
a lot of drama surrounding a pregnancy or pregnancies. It sounds like upcoming for an Aries is connected to somebody, whether you are the pregnant one, impregnated, um, pre you impregnated, impregnated, ah, I can't speak. You impregnated somebody, you are the pregnant one, or you were connected to somebody that's pregnant. However that resonates. Spirit messages you have sign of Aries. Woo! And I just want to remind everybody we're in Mercury retrograde now. So, um, electronics will probably start acting funky. Um, communication is um, funky in Mercury retrograde. Electronics start acting funky. People start acting funky. And that's just the truth. Um, for anybody that isn't, is not familiar with Mercury retrograde. We just hit it. So, just letting everybody know. I heard get one more. Okay. We have May, which is now. Holy crap. Let's do the other one. Younger man. Okay. Spirit messages you have sign Aries. Also, people's speech can get real slurred during um, Mercury retrograde, i.e. the communication, i.e. me and that. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Just saying. Spirit messages you have for sign Aries. messages you have some Aries. There are many series of chain of events and Aquarius and a Leo is about to get really close. It's about to shock the hell out of you. Okay, I heard through many series of chain of events and Aquarius and a Leo is about to get really close. It's about to shock the hell out of you. So whoever you are, Aries, and whoever this uh, Aquarius and Leo are, I didn't hear if it was masculine or femme Aquarius or masculine or femme um, Leo. You have to plug these people in your own life, how it resonates. But some kind of Aquarius and Leo energy um, through many series of chain of events are about to start getting close, close. So I'm thinking communication, uh, probably a lot of it. Uh, maybe they like being around each other um, or they're going to like start be, or they're going to start like being around each other. How that resonates, some kind of Aquarius and Leo energy. It can be a masculine or femme Aquarius, masculine or femme Leo. Um, but it sounds like the bond's going to get deeper and closer. It sounds like they're going to like communicating. Um, and maybe more. I mean, I don't know. But um, I heard it's going to shock the hell out of you. I heard they're going to get closer. So however that resonates in one's life, Aries. It's a Aquarius and Leo energy, if that resonates for you. Um, karma, you will reap what you have sown. That's the third one, haystack. Um Let's pull one of these, and then I'll tell you uh, your animal spirit cards. Um, you strongly could be dealing with the Taurus Capricorn Virgo. I just want to say that while I'm shuffling these out. You have two Earth Sign Energy cards for your animal spirit cards. Both of, both of them are, um, are um, Earth Sign Energies. Uh, you have Dog Spirit and Cat Spirit. Um, so I strongly feel... At least for one of you guys, you're dealing with the earth sign. For some, I feel you should be dealing with two plus earth signs because you have double earth sign energy in all spirit cards. Um, however, that resonates in one's life, Aries. If you think anyone else can benefit from this channel or enjoy my channel, if you wouldn't mind sharing my channel very um, word of mouth and social media, I very much appreciate it, you guys. Okay, success and transformation. I didn't hear take them reverse. Number 34, 8, 19, or 13 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 34, 8, 13, or 19, it could be possible ages of you or a child you're connected to. A possible lottery number, possible day of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number, possible, yeah. Um, 34, 8, 19, 13. Okay, so you have dog spirit, be loyal to what you love. Cat spirit, claim your independence. I heard uh, uh, Aries is going to start thinking for, their self, for themselves. So I think that's the claim your independence for at least one of you guys. Claiming your own thoughts. Um, you know, your own thoughts. What you feel about a situation. 
uh, not what other people convince you to think about a situation. You know what I'm saying? Sorry. Um, that kind of energy. That's what I'm feeling um, for at least one of you guys. Um, May, younger man, dealings of relationship with a younger man, haystack, karma, you will reap what you have sown, success and transformation. Dog spirit, be loyal to what you love. A particular Aries has been very, very, very heavily manipulated by a particular earth sign energy in their life. For some, it is a family member. For some, it is a, a boss. For some, it is other people in a workspace. But you're really going to start thinking for yourself. Really, really thinking. And thinking heavily. It's about to benefit you in a huge way. Breaking free of the matrix. Holy crap, that's strong. So you plug it in how it resonates, Aries. Um, a lot of workspace energy here for at least one of you guys. Um, whoever this is resonating with, uh, some kind of earth sign energy has been heavily manipulating you. Whoever you are and how this applies. For some, it's your boss. For some, it is... Uh, other people in your workspace, so I don't feel it's your boss. I feel it's just other people in your workspace. Um, and for some, it is a family member or family members. Um, however, that applies in one's life, Aries. But I heard um, through many series of chain events, you're about to start thinking for your own self. I think you're about your intuition's about to peak, and you're about to realize that these person or people are heavily manipulating you um, to try to get you to do something or think a certain type of way or something about um how this applies i think they're trying to manipulate you to either think a certain way or do something um however that applies but i think you're about to pick up on it i think your intuition's high whoever you are and how that applies and you're about to pick up on it and i heard you're about to start thinking for yourself breaking free of the matrix meaning you're about to break free of what people want you to do or say or think or feel and you're about to do what you think say feel how that resonates um that's what i'm feeling um but heavy earth sign i felt heavy earth sign energy because of the cards but that's confirmation from the spiritual realm some kind of earth sign energy taurus capricorn virgo energy they can have taurus capricorn virgo in their sun moon rising venus ortho and energy of your charts for some it is a boss for some it is other people in your workspace i'm not feeling your boss and for some, it is family member or members. How that resonates. Wow. Cat spirit, claim your independence. A demotion is very significant in a particular Aries life. Is about to become. A demotion. Oh my God. A demotion. Um, a demotion is about to become very significant in a particular Aries life. A demotion, you know, not a promotion, a demotion. Oh, my Lord. So, you know, that could be you getting demoted or somebody you're connected to getting demoted. I'm not trying to scare anybody. Um, it, it, it doesn't have to be you. It could be somebody you're connected to, but some kind of demotion energy. So, not going up, going down. Oh, my Lord. So, how would that, I mean... It could be you or somebody you're connected to, whoever this is, but somebody in your life, Aries, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, some kind of demotion energy. Um, so going down the ladder, not going up. Um, however that resonates. Cat spirit, claim your independence. A particular Aries is about to really, really break free from a Piscean energy. Really break free from them. Low vibrational Pisces. Drama, drama, drama. Oh, my Lord. So you, you plug it in, how it resonates. Dear God. Um, a low, okay, so anybody doesn't know, vibrations are all about how you treat people. 
honesty, trust, respect, loyalty, uh, loyalty values, integrity, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, that is vibrations. That's my right. That's my right. Blah, blah, blah. It's the Mercury retrograde got me like, whoa, just saying. Um, that's vibrations, uh, vibrational energy. This is not about money here. This is about vibrations. Um, some kind of Piscean energy. They're very low vibrational. It could be masculine them. Pisces, whoever this person is in your life, but I heard you're about to seriously break free of them. Uh, drama, 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 drama. So I think they pull you down, Aries, whoever you are and how this applies, if this message applies for you. It may not, I mean, it may only apply for one of you guys. I don't know. But um, I tell you guys that so you could, you know, if you think this message may resonate with you, you and you're not familiar with what vibrational behavior is, you would know. Um, Low vibrational is not treating people with honesty, trust, respect, loyalty, values, etc. High vibrational beings is. So it's some kind of low vibrational Piscean energy. Uh, whoever they are and how they apply in your life, they obviously do not treat people treat people with honesty, trust, respect, loyal morals, values, integrity, etc. etc. Whoever this person is, if they plug in your life, um, some kind of low vibrational Piscean energy. For some, it is a Gemini. For some, it is a Gemini. So for some, it is a Piscean, low, low vibrational Piscean. For some, it is a low vibrational Gemini. Um, masculine or feminine, I'm feeling. You plug it in, how it resonates. For some, it is a Taurus. For some, it is a Taurus. Okay, so for some, it's a Taurus, low vibrational Taurus. For some, it's a low vibrational Piscean. For some, it's a low vibrational Gemini. Masculine or feminine, they could have Taurus, uh, Gemini, or Pisces in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Hammer, Jupiter charts. However, that resonates with you. Um, if that message applies, one could resonate, two plus could resonate. However, that resonates. May, which we are in May now. May of 2022 now. Huge happenings are coming soon in the month of May. It is going to blow a particular Aries mind. Huge happenings. Many twists and turns will occur with these huge happenings. Oh my Lord. So you play, well, I feel that could go good or bad. I feel that could go positive or negative. So only you know your story, not anybody else, but some kind of huge happenings coming in the month of May. It sounds like May of 2022 here. I heard in the month of May, but you know, we're in May of 2022. I'm feeling it's now, like this month, which, you know, we just started this month, like today, this morning, and there's 31 days in May. So I'm feeling like this month, um, I didn't hear a specific year, but I mean, I'm thinking it's now, this month in 2022. I heard huge happenings, huge happenings. I heard that many twists and turns are coming with these huge happenings. Um, I heard it's going to blow your mind. So mind blowing. I mean, I'm not thinking baby things. I'm thinking a huge thing. I mean, I heard huge, huge things. So big, big, big things. I feel it can go positive or negative. Um, for one of you guys, it's some somebody's about to get demoted so i mean i'm feeling for a lot of you guys it's not you i'm feeling it's somebody you're connected to that could be a huge happening that's obviously a huge happening um for some it could be these all this pregnancy energy with the drama 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 um for some it could be um something else but um however that resonates some kind of huge freaking happenings coming in the i'm feeling this month in the month of may of 2022 it's gonna blow your mind and they're big, big, big daddy happenings, I'm feeling. Not little ones. Younger man, dealings or relationship with a younger man.
For some, this is communication with an investigator. For some, this is a hoey masculine energy in your community. You're about to find out they have impregnated many, 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 many women. Many. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> wow, this is, woo. You plug it in how it resonates. So um, for some of you guys, this is communication with an investigator. So um, dealings or relationship with a younger man. I'm feeling he is younger, um, younger masculine energy, younger than you. Now, how, you know, only you know your story, not anybody else. So however old you are, I'm thinking this investigator energy is younger than you. Like, for example, I'm 38. So if I was an Aries and that resonated with me, which I'm not an Aries, I don't have Aries in my chart, but... If I was you, and this was my reading, and that was my message, it would that would be somebody 37 or younger, is what I'm saying. So, however old you are, I, whoever this person, this investigator is, you're about to communicate with, whether you initiate the communication with them or they initiate it with you, I feel they are younger than you. Um, whoever you are and how this applies, Aries. Now, whether, like I said, whether you initiate this communication with this investigator or they initiate it with you, I'm not, I'm not sure. Only you know your story and anybody else, but I feel they're younger, younger than you. However that applies. That's for one of you guys, at least. Uh, for another one of you guys, um, I heard um, this is a masculine energy in your community that you're about to find out they have knocked up basically many people in your community um so some kind of holy younger masculine energy and i hate to say it like that but i don't know how else to say it um you plug it in how it resonates lord so i feel um he is younger than you i feel this holy masculine energy is younger than you and you're about to find out he is impregnated or are knocked up so i don't know if they're currently in utero or or he's already spit many children out in the universe or a combination of both I'm not sure how that applies in one's life, but I feel he's younger than you, and you're about to find out he has done this. How that applies, dear good Lord. For some, this is someone you're competing with with a, comp uh, with a position in your workspace. Ooh, for some, this is a position, uh, a person you're competing with, with uh, for a position in your workspace. So for some of you guys, this is a person, this masculine energy younger than you is someone you're competing with, with a position in your workspace. So there's some kind of job position in your workspace that it sounds like you want and they want to. Um, and this is a um, person that you're uh, sounds like about to be competing with for this position sounds like you both applied for it or you both really want it i'm assuming you both applied for it and um this is this is that person um i think it's the masculine energy younger than you whoever you are and how that applies haystack karma you will reap what you have sown A particular Aries feminine energy is about to pay it forward and use use her head. She realized to a feminine energy. She realizes young, very very spiteful, malicious activity in the past was trying to pin this feminine energy so she could not advance. About to pay it forward to her. Okay, so you play it in how it resonates, Aries. You're Aries fam. Um, there's some kind of feminine energy you're connected to. Um, I'm feeling it might be workspace energy, but it may not be. Um, however, that applies. I didn't hear it specifically was workspace energy, but I'm kind of feeling it is. Um, I'm feeling it could be workspace energy or it could be business um, or something of that nature. Somehow you're connected to a feminine energy and you know some, it sounds like one person or several people have been very malicious to her. I don't feel you have been very malicious to her, not at all. Uh, I heard you're about to pay it forward to her. 
um, is somebody else that's been very malicious to her through some kind of documentation in some shape, form, or fashion. But you are highly intuitive and you know these people or person or people have been very malicious to her. They intentionally did this documentation to her um, to her pin her so she could not advance. So they basically used this documentation writs it sounds like they wrote something up or several people wrote something up or however that resonates specifically to try to pin her so she could not advance so basically put some kind of documentation to the universe to make it to where she would be stagnant and stuff that's why i think it's workplace energy for some for some it could be some kind of business um situation but i'm feeling it's workspace energy for a lot of you guys for some, it could be um, something else, but um, I've been pulling in some kind of false guardianship energy too. So for some, it could be somebody connected to some kind of false guardianship energy or some kind of funky reverse conservatorship for some crazy crap. Um, to me, I feel it could go um, those ways as well. However that resonates, but I heard you're about to pay it forward to her in a huge way. However that resonates in one's life, whether it's workspace energy um, or a false guardianship or um, reverse conservatorship or a business or what have you, um, you're about to pay it forward to her. However that resonates in one's life. So I feel you're going to get good karma because you're going to pay it forward to her because you are highly intuitive and you know, I heard you knew it was done out of malice and spite basically. So whoever performed this false documentation, whether it was, and however that applies in the universe, I told you the examples I thought it could be. Workspace energy, possibly business. I'm not really feeling very businessy, but it could be maybe for some. I'm feeling workspace, strong, false guardianship for some, reverse conservatorship for some. How that applies or something else, but however that applies, you know it's basically a bunch of BS. You know it's a bunch of BS basically, and you're about to pay it forward to her. So, um, I heard you're going to help her out. So however you're going to help her out and pay it forward to her, for some, it could be communicating with this investigator, possibly, um, is what I'm feeling for some. And I feel it's going to happen this month in May because it's connected to May. Um, that's what I'm feeling for some. Uh, for some, it could be something else. Um, however, you're going to pay it forward to her. Um, however, that applies in one's life, Aries, if that resonates for you. Success. A particular Aries daughter is about to become very, very, very successful. Some an adult daughter, some a minor daughter. You're about to be very, very proud of her. And you should be. Wow, that's beautiful. Holy crap, Aries. Wow, whoever you are, I feel you can be masculine or feminine. You plug it in how it resonates. But how that resonates, you have a daughter. Um, and I have a daughter too, so I understand. Just saying, I have a daughter and a son. For anybody who doesn't know, I have two ten two ah, blah, 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 blah. two teenagers. I have a sixteen year old and a fourteen year old, and um, I love them with everything in me. Um, and whoever you are, I feel you love your daughter with everything in you. And for some, you could have more than one daughter or a son as well. But um, we're focusing on the daughter here, whoever you are, and how this applies. Um, you have a daughter. For some, it's an adult daughter. For some, it is a minor daughter. So for anybody who doesn't know, minors are 17 or below. Um, and I heard they're about to become very, very, very successful in something they're doing. Now, I don't know, whatever that is. Um, it could be job for the adult. I mean, it could be a million different things. But one of you guys has an adult daughter. One has a minor daughter. They're about to become very, very, very successful. However, that applies in one's life, Aries. I heard you're going to be very, very proud of them. And yeah, absolutely. Be yeah. I mean, I understand. Like I said, I have kids, so I understand. Um, you congrats. You should be proud of them. Absolutely, man. Whoever you are and how that applies. So I'm feeling it's success for you because you're going to be very proud and um, of how successful your daughter is about to become. Now, whatever they're about to be become successful in, I feel it could be job, sports, project, um, Job, sports, a project, um, 
et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, business maybe, um, cause we're pulling in adult and minor energy. So it could, it could be a plethora of different things, but whatever it is, you're about to, I feel this is a success that, you know, you've been a good parent to this person, to this child. Um, and you've raised them to be a successful being that can go out there and produce in the world and be, you know, be very independent and successful and confident in their self. And I hope, wish that upon every single person in the universe, because I feel that's how we all should be. Um, that's how parents should raise children to be. Um, Absolutely. Because that's how they grow. That's how if they're raised to be successful and independent and confident in themselves to know that they can conquer anything out in the universe in a healthy copacetic manner um with good morals values ethics etc 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 then they know they can um they can do anything i mean not in a weird e egotistical manner but in a successful confident confidence kind of way and i feel that's what this is um, I feel this is you about to be very proud of how successful your daughter is, but it's going to be, make you happy and successful too, if that makes sense. But, I mean, that's not what I feel in here. Um, and success for your daughter and congrats to whoever that's for. Uh, just saying, just saying. Let me see if I hear anything else. A secret is about to be revealed to an Aries. You're about to take this secret and transmute it into a, a positive way. Okay. A secret is about to be revealed to an Aries. You're about to take it and transmute it in a positive way. So whoever you are and how that applies, transmuting means basically turn it around to work for you. So for anybody who doesn't know that. So. You're about to take this, uh, you're about to have success with this secret, is what I'm feeling. You're about to have success with this secret. And I feel that's claim your independence energy too. You're about to claim your independence. You're about to learn the secret. And then you're about to claim your independence with the secret and transmute it in a positive way um, for you or for others um, or for the situation. Um, but some kind of secret energy you're about to learn. Um, however, that resonates for some, it could be that holy masculine energy hoeing around your community. For some, it could be all this pregnancy drama energy. For some, it could be something else. What are you doing, kitty cat? Confirmation from my crazy kitty cat? Just saying, just saying. Um, transformation. A particular Aries is about to see a huge transformation in a fire sign feminine for some, for some, an air sign masculine. For some, a water sign masculine. Positive transformations. Negative energy is about to clear. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. So this is, if this resonates for you, Aries, um, there's some kind of water sign masculine energy in your life. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, masculine energy. They could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in their sun, moon, all, all have a high, high vibrational beings. All high vibrational beings is what I heard. Okay, so, okay. So you've got at least three people in your life. It may be more because, you know, my goodness, we were pulling in, uh, uh, what, uh, water sign masculine, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio masculine, um, Aries Leo, Sagittarius femme. And who was the other one? Um, who was the other one? There was a Aries Leo, Sag femme, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio masculine. Oh, and a Gemini Libra Aquarius masculine. But, you know, just because we're pulling in these signs, it could be 30 of 30 water signs, high vibrational water signs in your life. It could be 50 um, high vibrational um, fire signs in your life. 
it could be five high vibrational air signs in your life. I mean, only you know you're swearing at anybody else, but some kind of positive transformation of people around you is what it sounds like. It sounds like you're about to see this. Um, I heard that negative energy is about to be cleared soon. So it sounds like these people have had negative energy in their life in some shape, form, or fashion, and it's about to clear, and you're about to see positive transformations in them is what I'm feeling. Um, I feel this is you being highly intuitive and noticing these transformations in these people around you is what I'm feeling. Um, I heard specifically they're high vibrational beings. So, you know, I explained the difference between high vibrational and low vibrational in here earlier. So these people treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, integrity, and values, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's not the low, 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 blah, 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 blah. The low vibrational beings in your life is the high vibrational ones. I heard specifically it was a water sign masculine, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio masculine. He could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in a sun, moon, rising, Venus, Ortho, Man, and Jupiter charts. Air, um, air sign masculine could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in a sun, moon, rising, Venus, Ortho, Man, and Jupiter charts. And a um, fire sign femme. Aries, Leo, Sag, in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Men, Hebrew, Jupiter charts. And I know you are a fire sign too, Aries, but I feel it's a different fire sign femme or fire sign femmes. Um, because you are about to see this transformation in somebody else, in another fire sign femme, another air sign masculine, another water sign masculine. Whoever these people are in your life. But specifically, I heard specifically from spiritual realm, they are high vibrational beings. So they don't mess around. They treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, values, integrity. Um, and I feel whoever this message is for, you do too. So how this resonates for you, Aries? Um, this, in that aspect, it is you about to see the transformation in these high vibrational beings. They have, it sounds like they have had negative energy around them um, in their energetic space, but it's about to be cleared. So you're about to see very positive transformations in them in some shape, form, or fashion. Now, however you're connected to them, I feel you could work with them. You could be their boss. You could be their manager, supervisor, CEO. You could be a neighbor. You could be a, um, a friend. Um, you could be somebody that connects with them in the community, whoever you are and how that applies. Let me see if I hear anything else. A uh, particular Aries has really been no taking notes and noticing things that have really been coming true in readings. They have been shocked. Oh my goodness, wow. About to pay it forward in a very, 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 very positive way. Oh my gosh, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow, this is a pretty good reading, Aries. I'm so glad because, my goodness, it's 4.18 a.m. Um, you know, we get the crazy ones out here, but this is a really, really good one. Um, well, at least one of you guys have been taking notes, whoever you are and how this applies. You've been taking, it sounds like, I feel you've actually been writing down. I feel like you've been writing down. <laughs> That's what I feel. You've been writing down messages um either the messages i've been delivering or messages some other reader has been delivering i feel it's somebody with abilities i'll tell you that um i'm serious i think it's you've been watching a reader um that has abilities um now whatever abilities are um it could be me uh it's at least for one of my subscribers out there there's a reason i'm pulling this message in so i feel at least one of my subscribers has probably been writing down stuff that i've been saying um and you notice it's been coming true and um you're gonna pay it for um but it could be it doesn't happy me is what i'm saying it doesn't happy me i feel it could be anybody that has abilities but it, I, I definitely feel somebody with abilities um either clear audience like i get very strong clairvoyance clairsentience psychic medium psychic medium so i can't speak the mercury retrograde's got me like whoa um psychic medium abilities like what I have as well. Um, I have all of them. I have all the abilities, but psychic medium, I pull in very strong. Clear audience, pull in very strong. We all know this. 
Um, but I have all of them. Uh, and then dream, Dreamscape too. Um, but like I said, it could be me or anybody that has abilities. But I definitely feel somebody that has abilities is what I'm trying to say. But whoever you are, you heard you've been taking notes. I think you've been physically writing them down um, is what I'm feeling. But I heard you've been taking notes. It, for some, it could be mental notes. But for some, I feel you actually have been physically writing them down so you can check off that they've come true is what I'm feeling. Um, but I heard you've been surprised at the amount that have been coming true. Um, and you're about to pay it forward in a very, very, very huge way. So whoever you are and how that applies, whether it's me, you've been taking mental no mental notes on or physical notes on or another reader. But whoever it is, whether it's me or somebody else, I feel it is somebody that definitely has abilities. And I, I'm just being for real about that. Um, and I heard you're about to pay it forward in a very, very, very huge way to whoever this person is, whether it's me or somebody else. Um, and that could be transformation too. Um, transforming and realizing. Um, I heard you've already realized that they you've been very surprised by how many has already come true. So I think this is a transformation in yourself. And um, may I'm thinking whoever this is particular message is for, I think you didn't believe in the spiritual realm. I I'm serious. I think you didn't believe the spiritual downloads were real. I think you thought that maybe we got on here and just spouted a bunch of baloney. Um, I'm serious. Um, and I'm not trying to down anybody, but I'm serious. I didn't believe in this shit either. Um, to be honest with you, if you would have asked me this, um, five years, no, not five years ago. If you would have asked me this 10 years ago, I would have laughed at you. And I'm serious about that. I'm 38. If you would have asked me this 10 years ago, do you watch, um, have you ever watched tarot card readers and spiritual realm people that get clear audio messages? I would have been like, clear audio, what? What? What are you talking about? I mean, I'm serious. I would have done that 10 years ago. 10. I've been reading on here for two. I've been getting messages for two years. Um, I know it. I know it's real. Uh, trust me. I never thought I'd be one of the ones that ever received them. Never a day in my life. But I have become one of those people. And, um, but like I said, if you would have asked me that 10 years ago at 28 years old, I would have laughed in your face. And I would be like, yeah, whatever, you know, but it is, it is the truth. It is the truth. It is real, but you have to find the real readers. You have to find the real ones, the real ones that don't get on here for show and for play. Um, and that, and that's the truth for real, for real. Um, I learned that the hard way too. Um, because I watched tarot readings for anybody who doesn't know, I watched tarot readings for two years before I even started receiving spiritual downloads. True story. For anybody who doesn't know that. So, um, I think whoever that's for, you're going through a transformation and you're realizing you've either went through a transformation. I think for some, this is spiritual transformation. And you either, for some, you've already realized that it's the truth. Spiritual realm is the truth. Some reader is really the truth, whether it's me or somebody else. For some, you're about to realize it. Um, but I heard you've been taking notes and you're realizing that the amount of stuff, whether it's mental notes or physical notes, has really come true. Um, so I feel for a lot of you guys, you've already went through a transformation in yourself um, with this. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. And I think that's the success energy too, realizing um, that is the truth. Um, and you're not being, um, bamboozled, um, by what some reader, whoever it is, whether it's me or somebody else, but you really like this reader. I'll tell you that you really like this reader. I think you're really realizing the truth and, um, you're about to pay it forward to them in a huge, huge, huge way, whatever huge way that is and how that applies. Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right, well, I love you guys so much. I hope this helps. Sorry it was so long. My goodness, 44, uh, 26. Um, I just heard 444 four, four just now. 444. Four, four. 
I'm not familiar with 444. I mean, it's a spirit, it's an angel number, 444, but I, I don't know it off the top of my head, like um, 1111 or 555. I have to look this one up. Um, let me look up angel number 444. Apparently, that's significant for at least one of you guys. And then I'll close it. Hold on a second. An uh, angel number 444 is a spiritual number that signifies the end of one phase of life and the beginning of another. The number 444 is often interpre interpreted as a sign of spiritual change, either in oneself or others. Oh my gosh. Well, okay. Well, then that's a transformation. I told you guys that I thought part of this transformation was spiritual transformation for at least one of you guys. Um, and that would make sense with the 444. Um, and to me, that's confirmation because I, like I said, I know some of the numbers off the top of my head. 555, that's change. 1111. Um, I know those off the top of my head. 888 is money. I didn't know 444. I'll read it one more time. 444 is a spiritual, spiritual number that signifies the end of one phase of life at the beginning of another. So end of cycle, beginning of another, which is transformation energy as well. Endings of cycles transform into a new cycle. For some, you could be dealing with Scorpio. Because um, that's Scorpion energy as well. If you are, they could have Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or moon, behavior, Jupiter charts, if you are. Um, if not, I mean, you may or may not be. But that is definite Scorpion energy, whether you are or aren't dealing with Scorpio. Um, the number 444 is often interpreted as a sign of spiritual change, either in oneself or others. And being aware of this spiritual awakening can only help you as great things lie ahead. So spiritual awakening, spiritual change, transformation, which is transformation with the downloads and the card and the confirmation of angel number 444. You plug it in how it resonates, which I think is going to lead to success in you in some shape, form, or fashion. I think this is internal success here, whoever that's for, um, if that resonates for you. All right. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped. Namaste.